everyone, and welcome back to Cope Play It. I think we're in for some cool stuff in this episode. All right. Mm -mm. The doors close <clears throat> ominously from, behind you. Not cool from this fight, though, because look who's back. Aww. This guy, I really? I forgot he came back. Three times. We fight him one more time before the game's over, and I've never understood why. Yeah, but he repeats. I mean, I guess just because they want to give you a throwaway boss to kind of make you feel good, and then they throw the other bosses at you and remind you that you're shit. <laughs> I mean, unless you're good at this game, in which case you're not me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cat tried to jump at you and you just said fucking no. You're like, excuse that. me, I'm busy. There you go. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Bitch! One tentacle. Ah, 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 god. <laughs> Two tentacle. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. There you go. Shit, that almost did more damage than the, re than the ultimate technique. Yeah. Jeez. See, these cats being here does kind of make things a bit more, like, aggravating. Yeah. Because they're kind of getting in the way, and when he starts throwing these fireballs, that already doesn't help. <laughs> he hit the cat, too. He's like, damn it. This camera's kind of freaking me out right now, though. Right. Like, Ninja Gaiden camera does not do well in a corner. You're about to die, sir. Ooh, yes, I am. I saw that. Ow. Been a while since this guy gave me so much trouble. Well, I don't think it was him so much. You just got, like, locked in the corner by the cats, and then you've got the tentacles flailing. See, like, was there anything you could have done to avoid getting hit by that? You were falling from your last attack, and he decided to launch it. Mm-hmm. So, I don't... Maybe I just don't know, like, what the move is there, but there might... I, I didn't see any way that you could have got out of that. At there, no. The best thing I could have done would have been to hold off on my attack. Oh, uh, okay. Well, would have I, waited for a nice chance when both of the arms were swinging and engaged. Then I could have gotten in, dodged them, and hit him with a good hit. That would have been good. So that would have been the spot to do that. Gotcha. Health bar is getting nice. Nice. So how long does your health bar get? Like, if you can get all the lives of the gods and lives of the thousand gods, how long? Does it reach across the screen? Oh, geez. Not the entire screen, no. Um... Stretches to Jewel of the Demon Seal. Oh, a little bit past the halfway points, uh, I'd okay. say. Yeah, I'm probably about there. Mm -hmm. Oh, from here it increases potency of certain Ninpo. Oh, you can power up Ninpo with that. Mm -hmm. Well, guess which one we're gonna do. <laughs> the only one you actually can't power up is Fire Wheels. For some reason, the it just has the one level and it doesn't get stronger. Why? That makes it know. useless. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I found that um, Fire Wheels is pretty helpful against certain bosses. Really? Because sometimes they're good at avoiding the big blast, or hell, um, some of them can just avoid it altogether. So, like, huh? Sn Ice Storm works a bit well against them, too, but it keeps you locked in place, so if they move, it stops doing damage. Right, but, but with Fire Wheels, you get to move, too. You can run to them, and so long as you're standing next to them, you're constantly doing at least a little DPS. Well, that's pretty great, actually. Come to think... Wow, hi, guys. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, come to think of it, that actually would have been really useful in your last fight there, because if you'd had Fire Wheels on you... You could have, like, kept knocking away the stupid cats and jumping in at them. Shit! That would have been good! <laughs> Damn mean, it! I just thought of this. But ne maybe next time you're in that situation, now you've got a plan. <laughs> if we're in that situation again. Which, given this game's, like, history so far, I think you will be. Jeez. Hot diggity damn. Oh yeah, there's one new trick we've learned that I haven't shown off. What the shit was that? Uh, that was awesome! <laughs> How do you do that? Oh wait, was that the scroll you learned? Like the guillotine throw? Nope. That's yeah. um an op that's a secondary charge attack that you get as you level up the sword. Oh okay, gotcha. 
That's cool as shit. <laughs> oh, balls. Um, 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 um. Time to that, poorly. I'm going to numb on your face. It is delicious. There we go. Hot diggity damn. Man, like, whenever you need something, there's a convenient dead ninja to give it to you. Right. There's another Ninpo. The art of the ice storm. The worst one by far. The fact that, see, now that we've found a good use for fire wheels, it definitely is. Oh, oh hi, crap. guys. They're here. The, f the ghost fish are here? They weren't here before. Nope. They're supposed to be bats. Man, that sucks. These uh, are the single worst things in the game. Yeah, they are. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, see, they'll kill you, you really quick. Oh, Christ. Uh, are they down there? No, thank God. Okay. I well, <laughs> all right then. I just wanted to do that to show the audience. <laughs> Get that back on the ground. Oh, so you can't approach it on foot. You have nope. to, like, jump over to it? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, and there's a... Is that a spike ball? Ah, crap. Jumped a little too soon. Oh, no. Hmm. There okay, we go. Okay, so that one doesn't hurt you. Nah. I don't know why I thought it would. I'm like, that looks kind of jagged. It looks like it would mess deadly. you up, wouldn't it? Another of these idols that I'm not sure what they're for. <laughs> and King Tut's like, dude, I got this key. Just come get it. Hey, remember oh. where we needed the skull? God damn, that was a long time ago. Right? Wow. I mean, I guess they they do a good job of reminding you because they give you the same door right here. Mm -hmm. But One. still, like, if you've been if you haven't been paying attention, you might not know that there's a. Oh god, hi guys. Oh balls! See, there's nothing you can do. That's why I hate these fuckers so much. Yeah. If I was mentioning anything earlier about things I don't like in this game, they're number one. Yeah, I. They're I the agree. worst part of the whole experience. Oh my god! And I mean, like, if you ha there's certain ninpo you can get. Like, once you get the the lightning ninpo, things are definitely looking way up. Way better. Oh, you gotta come all the way back here. Jeez. Yep. Can't tell you how many times I've been in this room because you remember which boss is up next. Oh yeah. Wait, is that the last save before Alma? Yep. Oh, damn. Well, pressure's on, I guess. Ooh, jeez. Wow. Well, that was cool. It didn't do anything, <laughs> but that was cool. Burn, motherfuckers. And then everyone died. Yeah. Except that guy. And that guy. The end. I'm surprised I didn't hit you. Like the backswing usually hurts a lot. For right. These guys. There you go. Damn, you just chopped him up in little pieces. See now, I, I don't know why I just had this thought, but wouldn't it be cool if like every one of your sword strokes actually sliced through the enemy realistically? That would be pretty sweet. Like, you just start lopping pieces of them off, and suddenly <laughs> they're just like little bits of spaghetti on the floor. I would say that would be pretty cool, but Ninja Gaiden 2 kind of tried something with that. Really? And I think it degraded from the game. Oh, no. Well. So Ninja Gaiden 2 added this thing called obliteration techniques. Oh, okay. It's... A new damage system in the game made it to where enemy body parts could fly off. When oh. they did, they were like in some kind of crazy staggered states. And I mean, all you had to do was go up to them and press Y. And if you did that, you did an obliteration technique which instantly killed them. Yeah, I'd be pretty stunned too if my arm got flown off. I'm like, well, right. this sucks. <laughs> And then suddenly you're dead. I could definitely see an argument to be made that it's a better, that it's not a bad uh, mechanic. I just wasn't a fan because something about it changed the way you thought in the game. Whereas oh. in this one, you've got to kind of get familiar with the damage that the enemies can take and figure out how much you need to dish out. Yeah. The other one, A, like because of this thing, they just boosted enemy health way up. So if you wanted to cut them down all the way, it took forever. 
Oh, uh, so they, they gave you a reason to use the system more? Mm-hmm. But so that, when a, yeah. as now you're just waiting for something to fly off, which can happen on any technique. So you're just kind of hammering away. It makes it feel a bit more button mashy. Gotcha. I get... Oh, not what I wanted well, to do, but I, I mean, the trick. if it works, except it didn't. Oh yeah, you're just so the viewers are just now getting to see the Vigorian flail in yeah. action. This is the first time we're using it. Jesus, it it's, works so well. It's the best weapon for this for these enemies. Oh my god, it'll clear the field of them. Them. I think I tried the Vigorian flail in my playthrough, but I just. I don't know why it wasn't working well. It's not perfect. And on the labyrinth, when they are supposed to show up for the first time, it, you, there's no perfect technique. Uh, okay. There's no avoiding them. You just gotta survive. The, it's the worst part of the game. It sucks so bad. The worst, like, the best technique I found to deal with that was, like, your electric ninpo. Because mm -hmm. if you killed a lot of them at once, there's a good chance they would drop more ninpo. Yeah. And so you would, I would just keep spamming electricity unlimited power style so <laughs> oh damn oh we're getting ready there's a save point wait there is a save point before Alma because if you go down there's a corridor down to the left there down to the right there and if you go down there there's a save point normally it leads to the first fight with Doku but there is a save point there so if you want to wait instead of going to fight Alma now and having to do all that shit again can we can that far without the oxygen tank? you can Oh yeah, you do go there without the oxygen tank first. So... Jeez, these things are awesome! Right? Yeah, so, I mean, you're gonna have to do that fight again, if you want to try that. Um... Oh, that'd be worth it. Actually... You know what? We're about... at time, so... We're gonna go try that off screen, and then we'll come right back here and then pick it right back up. <laughs> How's that sound, guys? That uh, works. All right, we'll see you next time on Co Play It. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.